Um, so you can't get rid of me. Uh, so I'll just stay on here for another 10 minutes because I like it so much. Um, okay, cool, cool, cool. So we talked about, you know, first talk we talked about GPUs and so on. So let's, let's talk about GPUs and let's uh, listen a little bit to my rambling about GPUs as first class citizen targets in LLVM. Um, so first thing, wh why this talk, right? So I kind, of, I kind of sent in this talk proposal and said, okay, I wanna, I wanna give some updates, but also some perspective of what, I, what I'm thinking, what needs to be done, because I believe that while there is effort, especially from the GPU vendors and so on and so forth in improving situations, we need to come together as a community. And for most of us, GPUs should be somewhat important. And for a couple of the things that I'm going to talk about, we need kind of a, a community consensus on, we actually have to you know, do this step. We actually have to the, the, the put the investment in to make things conceptually better to support GPUs better. And, and, and those are things I'm going to list. Um, this is really more of a call to arms, gives a little bit of an update about various things. Um, not really work I've done, more of a, you know, overview. Okay, let's, let's see what we have. We have some recent improvement, recent in quotes. Uh, no sync attribute, I think that is actually kind of useful because GPUs inherently talk about parallelism. Instead, like on the CPU world, we always kind of ignored that. We kind of pretended everything was, a sequential, was sequential, there's one thread, and we kind of, you know, closed our eyes of the whole parallelism world. Um, so we have one build bot that runs on a, like runs code on a GPU, which is great. It's better than zero. It's a lot more, um, but it only runs like very limited amount of code, OpenMP offload code, and and that's obviously you know not enough. Now we have the unified uh, driver um, that is opt-in for CUDA and HIP, but but mandatory for OpenMP, which which um, Joseph wrote actually, and that allows you to do interop between those languages. That allows you to do like sane embedding, elf tooling, and so on and so forth. So that's really like a good first step, and we have to start doing more of this unification across all of these GPU languages, backends, and so on and so forth. Now, we're working on various things right now that are kind of interesting. So we have this function memory effect of thread ID, which came up in the coroutine world. We now have the memory attribute for functions. Yay, uh, Nikita, thank you very much for that. And um, then we, uh, thread ID will be really great to distinguish things like, uh, do I get the dimension of the grid? As a func that is kind of a speculatable function that I can reproduce. I can always read it, any thread, everywhere. But the thread ID is kind of the same, but not really. And, and I have to be thread ID aware and so on and so forth. We want GPU libraries. Right now, we don't really have any of those. Like our solution for math in any vendor, any compiler that I've ever seen is, is ridiculous. I mean, it kind of works, but it's still ridiculous. So we have a libm that works. Uh, we're looking at libc, and I'm hoping to reuse the libc environment. Libc++ will be a really big step, but you know, one, one at a time. The thing to consider here is GPUs evolve. They're not these tiny little machines anymore where you can't run anything on. Those things are now you know, humongous. They can do a lot of things. So we can actually start to consider them as first-class citizens. Um, there is later going to be a talk by, by Shile about you running arbitrary host code on them. So it's, it's really fun what you can do. We look, people looking at Atomics, expansion support, uh, the Intel GPU backend talk is going to be now, I think. So, so really there is stuff happening as we speak. There's also these forever ongoing projects that are kind of happening, but also kind of not. And um, so there is the convergent attribute uh, that is conceptually not great, and we should really you know, fix that. And we really, really should fix that. There has been multiple proposals over the last few years that kind of got stuck. One of those things where community needs to step in and say, okay, let's really do this. Um, and, and that is where we kind of need more people to be aware of this and really like step in. Um, we do not have any GPU tests in the LLVM test suite. I mean, yeah. So, so all the GPU compilers are based on LLVM, but we don't actually test anything. I mean, cool. Um, debug meta and, and GPUs, we just had a talk earlier. Uh, that's a thing, but you know. Um, out there features. So what I would really love, and these are kind of just like wild ideas that we sometimes prototype and the lower ones, 
But what I would really love is to get rid of some of those vendor tools that are closed sourced and for which I know a lot of problems exist. Like when PTXAS comes back at me yelling that I cannot use O1 and debug metadata at the same time, I just don't know what to say. So it's really, if we could replace some of these vendor tools with in-house solutions, that would be super great. Um, you, can, you can read through the other ones. I mean, you know, executing host code on the GPU, executing GPU code on the host, uh, transparently executing uh, on GPUs in the cloud or remotely, or having you know, portability layers to like, get rid of the syntax differences and, and all you know, work together on stuff rather than I work on HIP and I work on Sickle and I work on CUDA and we don't talk to each other and we need three different drivers for well, no good reason. Okay, oh, yeah. so before I get too upset, some missing features. We need more testing. I mean, this is, this is just, this is just a, a given. We don't really have many, uh, we don't have build bots effectively, we don't have many unit tests, we don't have executable tests, we don't have anything that tests suite, performance tracking, compile time tracking, other things. I mean, testing, please. We really have to ramp that up. And all the people here that care about GPUs should maybe consider helping that effort in upstream, they generate like, you know, momentum and will benefit downstream from it. Um, termination and especially synchronization are often not taken into account in all of our side effect reasoning. So things are, you know, there's so many hacks that we put in about those two in our side effect reasoning because we didn't actually design the APIs right. So let's come up with those. Um, we need to converge on CPU-centric analysis. So we have right now, for example, a lot of stuff in the AMD GPU backend that is, you know, run for AMD GPUs, but there's no reason it couldn't be also run for other GPUs and so on and so forth. So, or we have OpenMP-specific passes that do OpenMP-specific GPU stuff, but not for other languages. That's stupid on both directions. Um, unified host and device optimizations. There has been different proposals on how to do that. Um, I'm open for more suggestions. We have a few ideas, we have a few prototypes. Would be really, really cool as, you know, long-term features. Oh yeah, action items. So my last two, almost three minutes, I'm going to give you some ideas of things you can do. Um, there is an LLVM working group, LLVM GPU working group, since a few months. Uh, Jakub, who is somewhere. Um, Oh, they're over there. He's uh, kindly organizing that, and he's doing a great job. Uh, there is a newsletter that you can um, that you can subscribe to that gives you, you know, actually information about what's going on. And if you have information that you want to put into the newsletter, reach out. He's, he's happily taking it. Um, so, so really, we we need to organize better as a community. Like all the people that are interested in and, and want to improve the GPU stuff, which is really important for some of us, but I think for most. Um, we have tests, create regression tests, create like, I don't know, uh, a test uh, a harness for executable tests, provide programs that we can use upstream for testing and so on and so forth. Like creating tests is important. If you see failures, make tests out of them, yada, 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 you know, the whole spiel. Um, oh. Set up a GPU build bot here. If we already would just run, I mean, CUDA code on NVIDIA GPUs, that would already help to make sure we don't regress and we don't like accidentally break stuff. If we run like have JMD GPU build bots that not only run this little piece of OpenMP offload regression tests and so on and so forth. We need GPU build bots. All of the you know, three vendors are kind of in the, uh, here that, that, that kind of have to step up on this one. Um, we need portable GPU tooling. Right now, most GPU tooling comes from the vendors and has, therefore, various kinds of limitations. We tend, as a community, to build our own tooling. We build, like, you know, own linkers. We build, like, own debuggers. Why don't we build a GPU support into these things and really, like, provide portable GPU tooling? Um, the pass pipeline, all the pass parameters are tuned for some GPU, uh, some CPU, I would assume. I, I don't really know. Um, but certainly not for GPUs. So, like, if you have ideas on how to tune them for GPUs, what to do there, that is something that is kind of an open problem. Uh, we're building, we're, we're now starting to build the libc for GPUs. I, I mean, starting. Um, and, and then we're thinking about lib standard C++, libc++. So these are kind of big steps into the future. 
Uh, we want real codes for GPU testing, performance tracking and, and compile time tracking. Uh, we want to abstract uh, extraction layers. We want to like look into LLVM IR with regards to parallelism. Sorry. And uh, we have a lot of prototypes that have to get in, including like libm and so on and so forth. So just talk to us. Thank you. <laughs>